We're headed to the bus, but first we have to get past all these construction people that set up just as we got here, <laughs> just as our car got here. This is getting a bit personal. Where do we go from? Where do we go from here? We're headed to Pristina, Kosovo. This is a comfortable bus. We picked Pristina instead of going to a different country because it was the only one that had the big bus and it's only four hours away. But I just realized this bus. There is no bathroom. Does not have a bathroom. What we did get was a couple drinks, a couple meat pies and a sandwich. Each one is for less than a dollar. It is so cheap here and the food is really good. My husband picked a winner. This is vegetables and cream cheese, and it's good cream cheese. I'm gonna enjoy this sandwich. <laughs> For 400 lek, we got the rest of this. We're almost out of Albania. We had to use it up. <laughs> We're all for healthy. Just went through the border at Kosovo. That was very easy. Our bus crew gave them all water, so that probably made it go a little easier. And we're on our way. We're in the taxi. We just got to Primorjan, Kosovo. <laughs> Pristina. Pristina. <laughs> I don't know where I am. And we're headed to our hotel. Pristina is a really cool looking city. We can't wait to get out here and walk around a bit. Boom. And in case you were wondering, traffic is a thing here. Come see what you can get for $46 a night. This place is huge. Come on. Big kitchen, nice touches, teas and coffees. I haven't tried the two-in-one. This is gonna be my favorite thing. This is for two people. And these couches are really, really comfortable. That reminds me of the windmills on McLeod's Daughters. One of the many views, right? Okay, so if I do just halfway, there, it's a halfway. We have a dishwasher, I mean a washing machine. <laughs> we can put the dishes in there. Towel warmer. This bed is beautiful and big. Oh wow, that's hard. And really, really noisy. I think it's probably time to get some food. Yes, please. And we've come to Princess Gresha. Yep for our first meal. It looks amazing. They brought us a lot of bread with a sauce. It's really good. We have broccoli soup, cheese and peppers, which is uh, traditional, and fried cheese. That's really good. That's really good. Very fresh broccoli. It's very light. Cream cheese and peppers. So let's see how. He asked if you like it hot. We said yes. So we'll see. Cream cheese and the peppers baked in with it. And it's, this is fantastic. Yep, those are hot. Those are definitely hot. But they're very, very good. Ooh, that just keeps going. This cream cheese and peppers is outstanding. Round one was really good, but we still have our main courses to come. Uh-oh. Oh, and I ordered this, penne bolognese. Oh, that's really good. Hawaiian pizza. Mmm, that's really good. The pizza is pineapple and prosciutto, but I like mine better. We thought we were really splurging. 2150 euros after an 18% service charge, about $23 for probably three meals worth of food. And it was all incredible. Here come the meat sweats. <laughs> we normally take the stairs, but this elevator is too crazy not to show you. Oh wait, that's the wall. Don't like this elevator, but better than packing our stuff all up the stairs. And there's big dogs laying everywhere. They don't bother anybody. It's just kind of funny. Let's start off with a proper welcome to Kosovo. This is the newborn monument built in 2008 for their independence. And every year they repaint it. So this year it's faces. Of course, yesterday when we pulled in, it was sunny and beautiful. Unfortunately, it's a bit overcast today for filming, but it's our day, so we're gonna film. <laughs> I didn't know anything about Kosovo until Chris said, let's go there. It's very modern and walkable. I really like it here. 
Our first stop is the Mother Teresa Cathedral, which appears to be under construction. Looks like it's all either white stone or white marble. It's beautiful. Already just gorgeous in there. I love the stained glass and also they have a wood carving of Mother Teresa that was stunning. Our next stop is going to be a massive change of pace from Mother Teresa. <laughs> That's a hit. Here it is, the moment you've all been waiting for. Statue. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, that's a thing. Those are pickled green tomatoes, and they are amazing. Pristine has every store you can imagine. I haven't tried this one. The grocery stores here get a big thumbs up from me. I don't know anything about Brent's coffee, but it is everywhere around Christina. So we're gonna try it, and they have more than coffee. Very smooth. It's really good. I'm gonna try it right now. It's a really smooth coffee. I like it. Brent's Coffee was a really nice little coffee shop. There's a bunch of them around. I think we'll try some other ones out. Yeah, it was very smooth, but yet it was dark enough that you got the bite. I really liked Prince Coffee. It's so strange. There's dogs laying in the park everywhere, and they're all about the same size. Now that we're all fueled up on coffee, the next phase of this operation is to head to the bus station to get our tickets for the next place we're going. Well, it looks like we found it. Now for the hard part, where we find tickets. <laughs> There's a great information desk here. There's lots of time slots during the day. It's anywhere from five to seven euros, and you just show up 30 minutes early. This is a really well-equipped bus station. You can get anything from food to chargers, pretty much anything you need mid-trip. Well, this is our second attempt at eating at Tiffany's. Won't you join me? Unfortunately, it's not breakfast. There is no set menu. He said he's going to bring us a little bit of absolutely everything. That sounds amazing. He did bring us some stuff to put our bread in <laughs> and this amazing bread. Try the first one. It's like goat's cheese. Mm -hmm. That's good. I'm trying the green one. Spinach and olives. Yes, that's good. And then the white. Ooh, that's pepper. That's my favorite. Ooh, wow. That is hot. These are fantastic. They brought us out this beautiful salad. Looks like a beans. Oh, I was expecting it to be pickled, but it's just very fresh. But the beets are pickled. I love pickled beets. Radish, red cabbage, carrots, cilantro, cucumber, uh, lima beans, and of course pickled beets. Check this out. They're all bubbling. Meat with yogurt sauce, meat and rice. This is a veal dish, a meat pie with cream. I'm trying the first one is grape leaves stuffed with rice and meat. Very hot. Ooh, you really taste the grape leaf in that one. It kind of has a little taste of liver, but it's very subtle. This is the meat pie. This has cream, pastry, and beef. It's very delicate flavor vegetables and veal. Oh, that's really good. And the veal is cooked so much that it just melts in your mouth. That is really good. So far, that's my favorite. Now we're gonna try the meat and yogurt sauce. Ooh, the meat has a little bit of a gamey taste, which goes really well with the yogurt sauce. This is all fantastic. Kate is our official food tester. However, if you could see the faces that I've been making over here trying this food, oh my God, it is incredible. But we're not even done yet. This place is awesome. fantastic. That whole meal was $33. We're stuffed. That was a really incredible, just authentic 
eating experience. Made even better by the fact that the owner's brother, uh, Castro, spoke, come up and started talking to us and told us the history of the place. It's so good, and we ate out on the patio. <laughs> Seriously, that, that's the only meal we'll have today. It was enormous. If you haven't clicked subscribe yet, please do so. It's free to you, but it really does help our channel grow, and since we're trying to do this YouTube thing now, that uh, would be great. <laughs> Cheesy. <laughs> Christina Kosovo. Everybody said it was amazing. It is so much fun. The streets are walkable, the people are nice, the food's really good. If you have a chance, you gotta come. We came here on a whim. I'm really glad we did. Yeah. Now it's time to head down to the bus station so we can catch our bus to Skopje, North Macedonia. But today it is pouring. So it's going to be an interesting uh, travel day. <laughs> it's gonna be like two to three euros to go to the bus stop. Taxis are cheap. We're gonna make use of them. <laughs> well, see you at the next place. Bye. Keep drinking this coffee. Make <laughs> the thumbs, thumbs up and subscribe. subscribe. Oh, no, that was good. That was good. That was good. <laughs>